They filled her through this land of ours and filled sportsman's dreams. Enjoy what nature holds for us, her bounty never ends. Getting back to basics with the practical sportsman. It's always an adventure, no matter where we go. From a favorite hunting spot to the highest fishing pole. Outdoor life we all can share with family and friends. We'll do it all together with a practical sportsman. And we'll do it all together with a practical sportsman. Hi there, come on in. It is Thursday night, November 22nd, the year 2001. Now I know this is Thanksgiving Day, but on this show, we're not going to cook a turkey, dress up like pilgrims, eat pumpkin pie. Now, one week ago today, was November 15th. That's the traditional opener of Michigan's two-week firearm deer season, and I traditionally cover that the week after it opens, which is this show. I will tell you that the weather on the opener was just gorgeous, really comfortable. For the rest of the story, stay tuned. I'm Fred Trost, and you're watching a program specifically for the practical sportsman. Well, maybe we ought to just stay home and watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> Before I get into my video report of the first few days of Michigan's firearm deer season, uh, I want to point out something to you that is really disappointing to me. Whatever happened to the outdoor pages in some of our major newspapers, whatever happened to the coverage, I mean, I just don't know. It's pretty much been blotted out, at least from what I can tell, in the Detroit News and the Lansing State Journal, the two newspapers that I've relied on for years for the Sunday outdoor pages and other coverage. Very disappointing this year. Uh, the Detroit News was the only one of those two papers that had an article on the second day of the season by Len Henning, good writer, uh, and he said that few firearms were heard in the 60 degree heat and, and it apparently slowed down the deer opener. In fact, on the front page of the Detroit News, a little caption there said, deer hunters curse warm weather. Well, I don't know if we cursed it. I mean, I really enjoyed it. Well, there was nothing in the Lansing State Journal we wait until the Sunday uh, newspaper where the, we have the outdoor page. And here's Lansing State Journal's outdoor page. Nothing, absolutely nothing on deer season. I mean, what's with that? On, on another part of the newspaper, there was an article about the DNR program introducing women to outdoor activities and deer hunting. But it certainly wasn't a report on opening day. That's all there was in the Lansing State Journal. On, in the sports section of the Detroit News, Len Henning had another very well-written article. And he said, deer were scarce, but beauty was plentiful. Uh, opening day offered few shots, yet warm surroundings soothed. And I mean, this, the writing was very excellent in here, and it really focused on the camaraderie and the uh, fellowship and the family activity. And I, I would like to, to bring up here that, golly, this was really sad because uh, Len Henning's father, Jerry, he said, was scheduled to be hunting with us again this year until he died suddenly of a heart attack two weeks earlier. Man, I, our sympathies go out to the Henning family. Man, I mean, what a disappointment, what a tragedy to happen because that's so much a part of deer camp. But his final paragraph here uh, really sums it up. He says, the deer hunt, the card games, the good times went on as scheduled. Very consoling, the beauty of life more cherished rhythms. And that's what I found. Quarter after seven on opening morning, November 15th, 2001. You can see a couple raindrops there hanging on that twig. It's because it was raining like crazy an hour ago. But the sky is lightening up. It's quite still in the woods. No noise, everything is soaking wet. We even had thunder and lightning last night. But this is the blind. It's a tree stand overlooking a little clover patch there. And of course we have a lot of woods here behind us. And this is where we saw the deer moving last year, right there to the west. I'm all ready to go. We'll give you an opening day report. I got my gun ready. 
using the handgun this year, the 44 Magnum. Stay tuned. Opening day with the Practical Sportsman. Seven forty five AM. A slight breeze. Very warm in the fifties. Very comfortable day to be sitting here waiting for deer. Is this your first deer? No, this is my fifth deer. Fifth? Yep. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's a nice spike. I like spikes. <laughs> that That's a nice one, though. How many points is it? What? Well, you can look, look at, at it. it. How many pikes, points are, is it? Oh, give me a break. <laughs> I don't know how to count this one. <laughs> Give me a break. Would this qualify as a five? I see. Well, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> so how? She couldn't tell whether that was coming or going. Oh man. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, you know that's pretty good. Was that your idea, Christy? Actually, that's my father's. Oh, okay. Where's he at? <laughs> doing. That is, huh? Yeah, that's my doing. Well, that's pretty good, so you can't tell whether this buck is coming or going. Nope. Yeah, that's a, that's an interesting twist, <laughs> if it were true. Yeah. Well, hey, we know part of it's true. <laughs> yeah, part of it's true. So what, what time was this? About quarter to eight this morning. Hmm. So he was walking north on me, and he started to keep going, so I grunted on my grunt call a couple times, and he turned around, came back in, and I shot him. Ran about 45 yards. Wow. Your fifth buck or fifth deer? Fifth deer. Third buck. Third buck. Wow. Well, I think that's pretty cool. That's a nice looking spike. Did you measure how long they are? Um, this side's nine and a half, and this side's ten and a half. Whoa! You qualify for a marbles award. That's the first marble spike of the morning, of the day, of the season. With a shotgun that I'm aware of. Well, congratulations, Christy. Thank you. That is very, very cool. <laughs> Thank you. Now, when's the little one coming? March. March 29th. Oh, well, good. Boy or girl? Girl. She can be so, a hunter? Of course. <laughs> well, that's great. Good work, Christy. Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, a cool seven point. Flip that thing up there. What is that? Five on one side? Five or? on one side, yeah. Five on one side, two on a, or two, well. Yeah, we call it only two on one side. You call it two, but uh, man, that's interesting. That is an interesting rack. So it looks like he was really trying to be a 10 point in the worst way. Yeah. Yeah, well, for sure that's broken off. Oh yeah, he had more points. Yeah, 
wonder if that, well, that looks like that would have been symmetrical. Yeah, it looks like it was real, uh, you know, same palmation and... Um, yeah, and that's broken right off of there. Boy, that took some whack. Mm. Brag about yours. <laughs> well, he was chasing a couple of does. He had uh, amorous intentions, I think, and... Well, now, hold it. This looks kind of the opposite of John's. That, I mean, it has, what, four there? Three there, seven point, that is. And then this one, it's a three? Yep. Almost had a fourth one there, but... Congratulations there, Tim. Thanks. And Greg. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a couple of nice yeah, bucks. Looks like we got yeah. a couple other nice ones around here. Yeah. Hey, quite an opening day here this year, I'll tell you. There's a lot of them around here. Where'd you guys get these here, then? Greg, probably back in your woods I got here? this one in my woods. You know where that clump of grapevines is on the south edge? Oh, yeah, so I was, I was down in there, but it was outstanding. Come through here and get a report from a real hunter. So how you like the weather? I don't like the weather. Really? <laughs> no, it makes the deer hunting bad. I'd rather have about four inches of snow and about 10 degrees. Well, it's pretty darn warm. What do you suppose the temperature is? Right now it's probably about 60. Yeah. Get warmer this afternoon. Yeah. They just aren't moving. They're moving at night. Well, yesterday they were, quite a few people got bucks, though. Yeah, well, there was a lot more people moving around the woods, too. Yeah. I don't think there was many people moving around today. Too nice to... Well, maybe we ought to just stay home and watch TV. Yeah. <laughs> it's Friday, though. Yeah. So maybe we'll have better luck this afternoon. First buck. First deer ever? First, no, first, first buck. Oh, man. How long are those tines? Uh, 12 and a half, and the other one's 11 and a half. Holy cow. How was opening day? Hot. Hot? Slow. Too hot. Slow? Slow. slow. How was the second day? Uh, same. About as slow. And how was today? <laughs> it is great. Even yeah. slower. Slower? No, that's exactly what we found. We were up in the thumb. How'd you do this season? Uh, nothing but memories. What kind of memories? Good ones, but uh, the deer running away and a couple large bucks at that. Really? Yes. So how active were the deer three quarters. Uh, I would say the activity was uh, mainly at night because during the day when I sat out, things were real slow. Hmm. Well, hold on. I'm looking at this one first. Whoa, who got this? I did. Well, you did? Yeah. Well, can you pick it up there? I sure can. 
No. So what's it? I got back up here. It's too big. How many points is it? Ten. Ten. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, tell me about it. When did you get it? Uh, last Sunday. Uh, about eight o'clock in the morning. Whoa, with the ball. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, this one is it's a nine. A nine? It's a nine. It looks awfully huge. And that's yours? Yep. It's a nine. Any chance you can pick it up? Uh to hand off the case. Here. Let me help you. Ooh. Man, that's a grip you got on there. Those are some tines. And when uh, did you get it? About 10 minutes after sun up, opening morning. Really? Yep. I had the DNR measured up yesterday. He's got 48 millimeters on his left tine and 50 millimeters on his right tine. Oh, we're doing millimeters spread. now? That's how he did it. <laughs> what was the spread? 25 three quarters on the inside. On the inside? Six and a half inches around his tines at the base. Huh. Yeah, that's something else. That one there? Do you have other big bucks yeah. you've got? You get him. Nope. <laughs> Spike horn's my only other buck. Really? Yep. So this must have really been exciting. Oh, yeah. I had no idea how big he was when I shot him. Fred, <laughs> how you doing? How, how's the buck full name? Fred. It's been real slow. Uh -huh. You get your full name? Maureen Cross. I'm the manager here at Mill Creek. Um, you know, we had a lot of deer came in in the morning. Uh, I want to say we've seen eight or ten nice deer, actually. But most of the people were taking them right to the processor. We got some good pictures inside, but they were going right to the processor. Hmm. Or we've seen some nice capes. And that was yesterday? Yesterday was about the same kind of thing. Today I've actually seen more deer in uh, a little better conditions, but it was colder last night, too. Yeah. Huh. I think that really well, helped. Something, cause usually this pole is full. Yes, it is. Coming down in the picture. Yes, there is. This is unbelievable. A ton of kids out here. Uh, what about the old PETA group? Did they ever show up this year? No, no PETA. Well, oh, son of a gun. Yeah, we're all disappointed. Have, uh, PETA has petered out. Yeah, maybe. This is mine. It's wide. First you video on it right now. 14 years with bow. Right really? Right How long? When did you get it? Sunday oh, night at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Walked right underneath and within about 10 feet, and I had to holler at it to make it stop so I could shoot it. Wow. And she has a tine broken off there. Well, I've seen quite a few of those this year with tines broken off. Well, that is awesome. Well, that qualifies for our Marvelous Hunting Award for sure. I dressed out at 180. So who's that? Your girlfriend, daughter, wife? My wife, uh, Carrie. <laughs> Oh, wait, there's your wife there. Yeah, that's oh, okay. my wife. There's that other girl there, she was speaking. That's his niece. That's, that's my niece. niece. And this, is this is his niece, Chastity. My oh, niece yeah? Chastity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see. Are you hunters? Yeah. This is her first oh, year. Yeah. yeah. And how do you do? Not too good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is about five times already. <laughs> you, you were hunting this season already? Yep. Were you? How many days have you been out? Ever since uh, opening day. Opening day. Oh. Is it, have you seen much? Yeah, about 10, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> so have you missed already this season? Yep. <laughs> I see. Well, I hope you get one. She, she was uh, the choice one I decided to take out of uh, five. Really? Yeah, and a choice based on what? Size. What made her the quality deer? Size and being closer. <laughs> I see. Kind of bald on top, but that's not the idea, huh? No, it isn't. It's <laughs> meat on the table. Yes, indeed. And that's a, how much did this one weigh? Uh, they estimated about a 134. That's a good size doe. Yes. Yeah, dressed out. And when did you get her? I got her uh, about this time last night. Uh, about, yeah, about quarter after four, or quarter after five. And which county? Uh, just down the street here. Oh, okay, we won't get too specific. <laughs> we didn't see which way you pointed. <laughs> so what do you think about this uh, deer pole? I like it, it's uh, nice because it's close by and uh, you know, said I'd have to go all the way to Grayling for one. <laughs> That's right, and we welcome the does. I mean, uh, you know, this uh, quality deer come in all size shapes and forms, eh? Or are yeah. you uh, you're just a, a big buck hunter? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'll, I'll shoot anything. You know? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> well, so what's this?
How do you think, Zach? Well, can't do anything about the weather. It's nice to be out in, but it's not very good for deer poles. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fun. But no, yeah, no, we're having a good time. A lot of people are stopping by. The chili is really good. Like a fire. Yeah. And I figured that was an integral part of this whole thing. And so, you know, next year when it, it is in the 20s and there's snow on the ground, this fire is going to be filled mm -hmm. around here with people. I shot him a muzzle loader. Where are you going? 25 yards. Oh, yeah. I was expecting a longer shot. Today? Uh, yesterday morning. <laughs> See four points there. How many we got? Seven. I call him a 10. He's got the spur. Yeah. Big 10. Yeah, it is. It's a wide one. Nice beans on it. What's the width on that, do you know? Uh, almost 21 outside. Inside 18 and a half. Man, that's great. Why a muzzle motor? Uh, I was expecting a longer shot. And it just happened where it was only 25 yards away. Well, so. I mean, what do you mean a longer shot? Well, I was expecting maybe a you know, 120 yard shot in there. So you can do better with a muzzleloader? Than yeah, you? yeah, that muzzleloader's a little more accurate in there. Huh. Sure. So what, what do you use for slug and powder and all I that? I use uh, Sabot, uh, 44, 240 grain, black powder, mm -hmm. 90 grains. Wow, you're a purist. I bought it. Almost. <laughs> now what is that? How many points? Four. Four? <laughs> that's what I'd name. Okay, well, we'll give you that. Where's the other one? And over here. Oh man. <laughs> Four. You're stretching it, but you know. That's hey, that's the first one. Yeah, that's awesome. His first deer. What's that? Spike. Spike, yeah. You don't count that as one there? Well, I, I did, but not really. <laughs> and then we got all these big, pretty bucks here. Look at the guys. Way to go, guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks. My perspective has always been that trophy bucks in Michigan uh, are fun to look at. I mean, that's why I've had a big buck night for the past 20 years. I mean, we enjoy looking at those big, gnarly, uh, they're actually freaks of nature types of antlers. But, you know, it's all just for fun. I don't take it real seriously. That's why I have a real simple scoring system for, for what we call trophy deer with our Marbles Hunting Awards. Anyway, get out and have fun. Enjoy your family and friends. That's what the outdoors is really all about. See you next week. Duck hunting in November? Good. Good shot. Thanks. We'll take them. The air is cold, the water is cold, but duck hunting can be hot in the late season. I'll show you how it's done on a small inland lake. Join me next week, same time, same station, right here on Public TV. Right. <laughs>